art therapy now according to american association uh, american art therapy association it is an integrative mental health and human service professionals that enrich the life of individuals families and community through art making creative process applied psychological theory and human experiences now this is where we have various elements it could be sculpting digital art photography drawings paintings and so on and so forth any form of art actually creates much more interest it gives a individualized treatment to an individual and the intervention of the students problems can be analyzed because of the art therapy for example there is a good example of house tree person test so here people person are asked to draw a house or tree and person and based on the picture which is created the person's emotional uh, cognitive and social state is analyzed the next is mandala assessment re uh, research instrument mari uh, here a person is given a mandala to draw similar to this mandala and this mandal uh, which is given to the uh, to the pay, uh, to the client is the client is asked to draw it on a colored sheet of paper paper using oil pastels and then the relationship between the images patterns shapes that the person draws is analyzed so jung as we mentioned was one who said that thinking feeling sensation and intuition are close very much close to each other and therefore it is impossible to separate one from another and based on this jung's theory the mari which is the mandala research uh, assessment research research instrument was developed and this was developed by john kelong uh, john kelong and this instrument had been highly successful as an art therapy so if a student has interest in arts uh, identifying issues related to it and interpreting the test results become extremely important and extremely easy the next is performing arts therapy here dance drama and music are the three performing arts uh, it is mainly used for psychotherapy occupational therapies and it is used uh, for pain management remedial uh, therapies rehabilitation of chronic patients experience of trauma so under this there can be biological or psychosocial elements under biological we have brain neurological or vibrations under psychosocial it is psychoanalytical consciousness and group dynamics so under the biological professor olive skin uh, skills when uh, olive skill said that there has been effect of low frequency on cellular systems of the body and this has been the reason for the performing arts under psychodynamic uh, psychoanalytical paradigm it talks about consciousness plus unconsciousness being dealt together and this is found in dealing effectively with suppressed desires and conflicts under consciousness uh, paradigm the inner core and the outer core are related so inner core is the harmony with the environment cleanliness and the outer core is the anomalies which exist so relation of inner and outer is the basis for consciousness then there is group dynamics which helps in developing group moral and leadership abilities also uh, this is used mainly for bringing in mental emotional and behavioral uh, support for one another now neurological paradigms basically include uh, balance with serotonin uh, it talks about dopamine norepinephrine under the brain we have all the four lobes which are affected and influenced by the by the performing arts therapy it is the parietal lobe occipital lobe temporal lobe and the frontal lobe and all of these would be affected neurotransmitters have a definite significant role and as we say uh, said olev skill did one of the researches where it uh, where it was proved that low vibrations have a sign the low frequency vibrations have a significant impact on human body the next is the family therapy now family therapy is also known as couple therapy it is known as family systems th therapy it is known as family counseling counseling marriage and family therapy and so on and so forth so there are numerous names the idea is uh, it works with families and couples in close relationship and the idea is to bring a nurture change and development to involve the family members to have a positive result for the client and the idea is to deal with the various issues of the client and bringing in the support of the family members is one of the best ways through which uh, family therapy can actually work so affecting the psychological health of an individual now under this there are various elements for example 
relationship education and counseling psychotherapy psycho education communication therapy then we have transgenerational therapy transgenerational therapy focus on changing the individual so it does not believe that uh, the whole family system would be targeted rather it targets only the individual and therefore it is known as a systematic study systemic study clear so that is transgenerational therapy then we have a narrative therapy narrative therapy talks about uh, emphasis on the content separation of the problem from the person so narrative therapy helps you to identify the values and the skills associated with them then we have the systemic theory strategic theory and structural theory under the systemic theory we focus on the belief system under strategic theory we look on the patterns of uh, interactions between the family members and a structural theory talks about the organization of the family system so how we identify and reorder the organization of the family system is important so those are some of the techniques under family therapy but that's not it then we also have systematic co systemic coaching systematic coaching says that we do have a form of development where a coach or a learner supports the environment and there is a personal and professional growth then we have systems theory now under systems theory there is a systematic discovery of the constraints the situation and uh, every field is actually optimized under this reality therapy is another another important element of the family therapy and under this the focus is to solve the problem based on the reality so focus on the action problem solving behavior and then we have the genogram genogram is where the person's family relationship and medical history is traced so all these are the techniques which are used in family therapy and as we mentioned either we reorder or reorganize the uh, system of the family we talk about the individual we don't know about whole of the family or there can be individual problem which has to be assessed all of these actually help in understanding the situation and providing a support environment to the uh, to the person and family therapy is therefore highly suitable